what in the world is a corner pin well i put the uh explanation on the screen but we're going to go ahead and demonstrate this for you so you can see it in action and get your wheels a spinning to figure out things you can do with this awesome new effect but bottom line is you can pin the corners of an image and reposition it you can stretch it shrink it skew it twist it and things like that let's go ahead and give this a try and show you what it is where it is how to use it and so you can incorporate this awesome new effect into your videos let's put an image on the screen for you so I'm gonna take this image of a picture frame which you can see has been slightly skewed to look like a picture frame sitting on a desk next what we're gonna do is grab just some stock media of this guy on a bicycle all right we're just gonna set him right up on top all right next thing we want to do is go to effects and video effects basic corner pin I'm gonna click very slowly and I'm gonna drag this so you can see what's gonna happen so I'm dragging it down okay where can I put it notice the two videos are being highlighted but I can't drop it above so I have to drop it on top so I'm gonna drop it right on top of this guy now immediately you don't see anything but if you were paying attention up here you would have noticed that the word effects is now there it wasn't there previously I'm gonna delete that effect so you can see it okay so I just removed the effect from the video and the the tab for effects is gone click drag drop effects is back let's go there oh corner pin how about that you can turn it on you can turn it off and you can get very specific but as you can see just the fact that I went over here has lit up the corners for me okay you can already see how this is going right so let's just pull all the corners in for a second just a little bit don't worry about how it looks yet and let's figure out what we're trying to do now if you want to be very specific you can literally type in the pixel location that you want to, to, to twist this to uh, so far in my testing I prefer to just grab and drag so you want to grab the corners now these squares will do what the squares have always done okay so let's put this guy in the frame and then you'll see what's happening so I'm gonna drop this corner right there I'm gonna drop this corner right there oh you can already see how cool this is gonna be I'm gonna bring this corner down here now we're gonna have to make some adjustments and for this one uh, what I'm gonna do is go switch back over to video for a second so that I can grab this image because I need to drag it down because my quarter went my corner went off screen no big deal now that I can see my corner we'll bring it down and we're gonna shift the using the video we're gonna shift it and I'm gonna get it somewhat close right there and we're gonna go back to effects and finish it off I'm gonna place the corner of the picture into the corner of the frame giving the illusion that this image has been skewed to fit into this skewed frame this is one way you can use this tool and I think this is an excellent way to use this tool if you've got a video and there's something on the screen that's at a slight angle you can take any photo video whatever you want and drop it right into that angled thing awesome huh I agree all right I think that was pretty cool 
let's go ahead and remove those for now. Just delete them off the timeline. Let's go to something else. How about we take a good old social media sticker, drop it on the timeline. You've seen this one before, right? But that's pretty intrusive sometimes on your video, depending on what's on the screen. Wouldn't you agree? Let's take this video so we can see all four corners at once. We will position it in a minute. Let's go to effects now. And what I want to do, there, I want to angle it down like that. Not too much, right about there. Swing it backwards just a hair. That is nice. That's what I'm looking to do. Then I would take this, perhaps shrink it down a hair, depending on what's on the screen. Bring it in at that angle, and I'm going to show you the best part right now. I just did that to a animated sticker. It remains animated in the new position. That's it, guys. This is a awesome new effect. This just came out with version 13.5.6. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. My channel appreciates it. Make sure you share these videos. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff for me.